In the previous lessons, we have looked at the while loops. Now that you know about ranges, it's time to look at another type of loop called the for loop. We have said that the ranges have closed range 0, 2 dots and 5. And so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are included. While the half open range 0 until 5, it is from 0 to 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is not included. So only 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we have said that to make a decreasing range is from 5 down to 0. We, are, we have used the down to keyword. Now, in order to make a, a for loop, for loop we construct the general for loop is like this so please write it down guys in order to understand it well and make a very a very uh, brief notes so for and we specify here the constant so constant in range okay this is the for condition for loop condition now the code here we can loop code okay so this is the loop code okay guys The loop begins with the for keyword. You see, this is the for keyword. Followed by a name given to the loop constant. More on that shortly. Followed by in. So the constant. In. Followed by the range. So we have here the range. So remember guys. For and we specify the constant in range, constant in range. This is the trick. This is the key of the for loop. Okay, so I will comment this. And I will create a new example in order to understand the for loop. I will create val count equal to 10. I need to count to 10. So var sum and make the sum for equal to zero. I have created two, uh, one, one constant and the second is variable called sum. And the count is, uh, is constant because it is having a value 10 and val while variab variable is sum. And I need to add a summation to this variable. Okay. How to do that using a for? For, open parenthesis, I in one dot, I put, I specify here the constant, constant, the constant is I, and in range, so we specify the range as I told you from one to 10. Okay, I can remove count from here in order to better understand things. So I am specifying here the range and I need to make the sum equal to sum plus i. Okay, what we have done here, we specified that it is a for loop the constant i which is an integer that we have uh, we have created here using the for so if we if we uh, look at the java codes we see that we have created int i so we write in java for int i equal to zero i am specifying here the first condition and creating a new variable called i in kotlin it is directly created so for i this is the constant here but in 
range i need the range from 1 to 10 i need to get to get the summation all the sum of numbers from 1 to 10 sum of numbers let me write it here sum of sum of numbers um, from 0 to 10 this is the program that we are creating using the for loop okay so the sum this is every time the code every time it is uh, iterated the loop iterates from 1 to 10 the summation the old the new summation this is sum new this is the sum this is the new variable that we have created here is equal to the old result to the old summation to the old variable plus i i is in the range so i would be one at the first second two three four five seven and eight ten, nine and ten so i would have one two three four five six seven eight and nine ten okay so let me run and then explain what are the results uh, i will print every time the sum so every time the loop will will be executed it will print out the summation so back to here to the program Okay, and waiting for the cutlet. And here we go, guys. We have these numbers. We have one. It starts by one. One plus two is equal to three. So if we go up here, I equal to one now. Okay, because it starts from I equal to one. Sum is equal to zero we have created it before so one is i and sum is equal to zero so the new sum now is equal to one print sum so it print out the one again it is in range okay going up yes it is in range uh, i increased by one so when we specify for loop i this the increment would be by one i equal now two so two is in uh, one and ten yes so continue and uh, execute this code the new sum this is the variable equal to the old sum which is one one plus i i equal to two so i plus two one plus two is equal to three print sum is equal to three going up three is is in uh, one and ten yes so sum the new sum create a, the our uh, like update the sum and replace the sum with the old sum which is three and the i equal to three so three plus three is equal to six okay so sum is equal to six going up i is equal to four yes is equal to four four in one and ten yes so replace i with four and go and create uh, update the sum so remove the old variable and create the old variable which is 10 the old value plus sorry it is equal to six and plus four is equal to 10. Then print the result and equal to 10. So in this way, the algorithm of the, the loop, the for loop continues to execute all of these, okay? Till 10. So we, if we count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 10 results. So we, we can, uh, we like an, an uh, re, uh, like uh, analysis or interpretation like we can we are getting 10 values from one one is included 
So we have learned this in the ranges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine. Ten is included also. So we have ten times this code have been executed. Okay. So this is the function. This is the role of the loops. And by the way, there is, we have we can create like. Um, sum is equal to sum, the old sum plus i we can replace it by plus equal sign okay this is the same as same as sum equal to sum plus i okay okay guys so we have this for loop and we have learned about it uh, more in details.